All right, Mark Holte here, reporter for the Canadian Immigration Institute and immigration lawyer and ex-immigration officer, back with another news break. Now, this has been discussed and hinted at, and so many people ask me questions about this. Will they expand the tier to peer pathway program? And so recently was brought to my attention by a, um, a fantastic individual by the name of Simon Barker, who sent me this news tip who shared with me this article right here that was done by CTV News. And I want to emphasize something to you guys. Canada may look at making more temporary migrants permanent. Okay, so what a lot of people are going to do is they're going to jump on that and they're going to say, oh, it looks like maybe they are going to expand this to international graduates. Maybe there will be um, a prolonging of the deadline from November 5th onwards. Well, yes, as you look here, it may and may be that may is the operant term here may be possible for the minister to do anything that he wants. But the reality is 40,000 plus the 7,000 plus however many more got in international graduates are not what they're talking about here. I would be extremely surprised if the TR to PR pathway was expanded to include international graduates. Now let's take a look here at this news report. And shout out to Anna Paperny, who uh, who broke this, uh, the Reuters staff contact here. So hopefully they're okay with me giving them more coverage. Anyways, if you look here, the minister in this meeting, he talked about uh, the the impact that the the basically the 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 desire, I guess I should say, to um, to expand to bring in more ing- immigrants. It's still there. So let's let's not make any. Um, you know, qualms about that. Yes, he still has a desire to bring more in. But who is he talking about here? So you can see here that um, they identify that, yes, only there's still 14,000 spots left open from the TR to PR pathway. But who are those people? Let's go here and we'll pull it right up. TR to PR pathway, open it up, slide over here. Who are they as of now? As you can see, 5,522. As of today, it is the healthcare workers that they're targeting. So let's go back in here and take a look at this again. What are they saying here? So they're saying that they're identifying the healthcare stream for sure. And they're also talking about um, what the minister is focusing on. He says, I think we should keep an open mind as to whether or not we should extend the deadline. Okay. So maybe they do. Who are they extending the deadline for? Guys, it would be extending the deadline for healthcare workers to be able to apply. Lots of people are going to say, hey, there's a chance they might extend it for international grads. But I'll tell you guys, I really, really don't think that is what they're talking about here. I think it's the essential workers in healthcare. He also says they're considering expanding future versions of the program, which include refugee claimants. So these are individuals who've come, filed a claim, have a work permit, and um, and are working in essential places for us, essential areas that are going to um, fill labor shortages. And uh, they say, well, you know, if they're here, they're working, then maybe, maybe that you can see that they are considering expanding it to that. Now, in my work with the Canadian Bar Association, that was something that we had brought up in the past, a number of years back. Um, But at this stage, uh, there wasn't a lot of uptake for it. But with the desire to bring in immigrants, the desire to help our economy bounce back, they're looking at very creative ways to do this. So uh, he says he's always going to keep an open mind when they're searching for possibilities. So yes, guys, everything, anything, whatever could happen, it's possible. But this article and this recent announcement, in my mind, is focused more on healthcare, focused on refugees, and not on opening it up for maybe even well, for sure, international graduates, I don't see that happening. Um, essential workers that are non-healthcare, possibly, right? But that's what we're looking at. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. This was another breaking Canadian Immigration News update. And uh, yeah, take care and we'll see you again for the next one. And big shout out once again to Simon Barker. If you've got a tip that you want to share, Send me an email, info at holthelaw.com, and I will get your name up here in lights as well. Take care.